Alex Yu Show, 300 seconds of life-changing wisdom on health, happiness, purpose and success. Inspiring people with inspiring stories around the globe, just for you, only on Alex Yu. Right here on beautiful Vancouver Island again and our guest today is a very remarkable young man that can share with us wisdoms on many levels but tonight we're going to talk about specifically on his success with his weight loss and with running a business. Miguel. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank very you very much for being on the show. When I was 16, I was in a car accident with my dad. And it was a very, very uh, serious car accident. And from then to about 18, 19, I gained a ton of weight. And it just, it just happened very drastically, you know, and it was simply a change of lifestyle. I went from being very active to we lived in the hospital uh, looking after my dad for three months and uh, and even after that the, his recovery was very tough on the family so it just sneaked up on me and next thing I know I had already created habits in my life that had me constantly gaining weight my goal was always sure I want to get stronger but my primary goal was to lose weight and I realized after a good year and a half that that was not happening by researching exercise it wasn't until I decided, okay, so it's not in the exercises, it's in the food. And when I switched my focus to researching nutrition, that's when it really started happening. At the end of the day, it was calories in versus calories out. And so that's what I focused on. I didn't worry about how much sodium, if it was organic or non-organic, how much, you know, the quality of the, of the calories wasn't extremely important the primary focus was making sure that I was at a calorie deficit, simply eating less than my body burned per day. There's a study for anything you want out there. So it was, it was so confusing that I had to make it as simple as possible. And that was, what if you just focus on one thing? Eating less calories than you burn per day. That's it. In total, I lost, yeah, about 70, 80 pounds. Um, and then after that, I... It took me time, but I, over two, three years, I gained about 20, 25 more pounds after that. Of muscle. Yeah. Now I've been a personal trainer for years, and uh, one of my friend's clients um, came to me one day and said, can you believe it? My husband says that weight loss is very simple. And I told him, how dare you? I've been struggling with this for ages. And my response to her was, actually, weight loss is simple. The, 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 the premise of it is very simple. The problem is that we are humans and we are emotional beings. And we, you may know that broccoli is better than cake, but when you feel sad or lonely or you name it, you want to go for food. It doesn't matter if broccoli is better, right? We override our emotions sometimes override our, our logical thinking. Gaining weight is a symptom of something else. We need to address what is actually the cause of it. If you feel lonely, if you are, if your job is stressful, if you are just not happy with life, if at the end of your day, your daily routine consists of sitting down and watching TV for three hours, eating snacks, that's going to accumulate. And maybe you need a hobby, but maybe you're just lonely. Maybe you need friends that, that have a healthy lifestyle so that your normal is not sitting down watching TV, but it is getting out there, walking, learning, communicating with people, being part of a circle, you know, yeah. that provides with emotional support so that you don't have to go looking for it in food. Yeah. Dream performance is a dream. It's a dream come true because it's a vehicle that allows me me and my team now, it started as just me, but it allows us to literally save people's lives. We, five years ago it started and it was just me um, learning how to build a website and, and with two pairs of dumbbells in my trunk, driving around from park to park to train maybe one person. Um, and now it has evolved to the point where we have changed many, many lives. We've lived sometimes for so many years believing that we are not enough, not good enough, not smart enough, not pretty enough, blah, blah. We hear this, eventually we believe it. And literally what we do with our clients is we just, we just erase that old tape and we rewrite it with, you're amazing. 
You can do this. I believe in you. Nope, that's not all you've got. I know it. So bring it. Maybe, maybe I am amazing. And maybe I just haven't seen it for some time, but it starts to show little bit by little bit. And eventually you believe it. You know it to be true. So you don't have to go back to those old self-destructive patterns anymore. Try to attack my day. I, I, I like to think of myself now as this unstoppable force of nature. And as such, I get ready to take the day on and make the absolute best of it. The one thing that I do constantly to stay healthy is not so much in a nutrition perspective, it's in a mindset perspective. And that is, I don't beat myself up. I think that when we connect to a to a sense of purpose that is bigger than just what benefits only us, oh, it's so much more rewarding. Your heart feels this big because you're doing something that is going to leave this planet a better place than when you arrived. I learned a lot uh, when it came to weight loss and also running a business and what it is to actually move to a different country and make it work. Miguel gave us 300 seconds of beautiful wisdom, but if you still have questions, check out the box below the video and you can find all the links to connect with Miguel or myself and ask the questions away. It was an honor hosting for you. Bye for now. Awesome.